Zometry's Manufacturing Technologies Explained Vacuum Casting Vacuum casting is a manufacturing process that produces precise plastic or rubber parts by pouring liquid resin into a silicon mould under vacuum. Also known as urethane or silicon casting, it's ideal for low volume production, prototyping and functional testing, offering excellent surface finish, material properties and fine detail reproduction. Vacuum casting bridges production between 3D printing and plastic injection moulding. Vacuum casting is especially useful for producing high quality prototypes or small batches of final use parts. It enables cost effective replication of complex geometries with excellent accuracy, cosmetic appeal and material flexibility. The process typically uses polyurethane resins that simulate ABS, polypropylene, rubber or transparent plastics, providing a wide range of mechanical and visual properties suitable for various industries. Vacuum casting setups are compact compared to injection moulding machines. They consist of a vacuum chamber, a silicon mould and a mixing system. Silicon moulds are created by encasing a master model, typically produced using SLA, FDM or CNC machining in liquid silicone. Once cured, the mould is cut open to remove the master, leaving a precise negative cavity. The casting process begins by mixing a two-component polyurethane system, commonly referred to as parts A and B, part A being the resin and part B the hardener. These components are either hand-mixed or precisely combined using a mixer machine. After mixing, the resin is degassed in a vacuum chamber to eliminate any trapped air bubbles. At the same time, the silicon mould is kept in the chamber so it's immediately ready for casting once the degassing is complete. The mould with material is then exposed to high vacuum, primarily for clear materials or high pressure to mitigate any bubbles that may remain in the liquid material. Silicon moulds reproduce even the finest features of the original master, though features smaller than 0.5mm may not appear on the cast parts. Master patterns can be textured, polished or contain detailed features like text. Common finishes include matte, semi-gloss or glossy without the need for post-processing. Flexible mould walls allow easy demoulding of undercuts or complex shapes, minimising additional inserts. Resin cures within the chamber. Depending on the material, the chamber may be heated to accelerate the process. Curing typically takes two to four hours, depending on the material and part geometry. Transforming the liquid resin into a durable part that retains the desired shape, dimensions and finish. Once cured, the mould is opened and the cast part is removed. Each silicon mould can typically be reused dozens of times before degrading, though this depends on part geometry, making vacuum casting ideal for short production runs. Minimal post-processing is needed, though trimming gates or painting may be applied for specific functional or visual enhancements. Let's recap what we learned from this video. Vacuum casting is a flexible, low-volume manufacturing method using silicon moulds. It can offer rigid or flexible parts using polyurethane resins. This enables high-quality, detailed parts ideal for prototyping or short-run production. The process reproduces fine textures and complex geometries while minimising air bubbles or defects. Vacuum casting is ideal for testing, marketing samples and small batch production where speed, quality and low tooling costs are essential. Zometry, where big ideas are built.